Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017, part 17. Stay tuned. If you are new to this YouTube channel, click red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you never miss any updates of weekly 3 videos about Maya 2017, Arnold Modeling, Texturing and Lighting. Ok, in this part we made for our subscriber request, he sent me this reference image to model this one. So this is complex shape over here. So this is we use little bit of patch modeling to achieve the shape so I also have an another angle so I will rotate this one so see here in this spot we want to make it manually using patch modeling okay let's open Maya go to create panel polygon primitives disable the interactive creation that means when we click on poly cylinder it will automatically create an instant drop grid now go to poly cylinder inputs in channel box in layer editor go to poly cylinder inputs and give subdivision access to 32 so it's really important you need to give subdivision access to 32 so i will select this object and press r and scale big go to front view and press 4 in keyboard that means you able to see our wireframe more press w i want to move my object above the grid right click and choose vertex mode so select all the top vertex and press w i want to move in y now right click and choose sorry select the bottom vertex and press r and scale down so little bit like this now you need to add one more edge loop shift right click and choose insert edge loop option box so i will reset my tool you need to add one more edge loop over here and also here now double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge and press R and scale big and press W and move in Y like this now go to perspective now press 5 in keyboard now you got like this now right click and choose object mode now go to front view press 4 in keyboard shift right click and choose multi cut tool so it's really important you need to take multi cut tool you need to cut over here so exactly from center from second edge you need to cut like this so you need to end up with here and right click so cut here 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 and here and right click to end up the cut go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard now right click and choose vertex mode and press w so select this vertex and shift select this vertex and move little bit in y now right click and choose vertex mode select the top vertex press ctrl f11 in keyboard so that means our vertex will be convert as a face and press delete in keyboard now select this face over here and press delete in keyboard right click and choose edge mode so select this edge and shift select this edge and go to right side view shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w you need to move like this and shift right click and choose extrude edge again and press w and move like this shift right click and choose extrude edge again and press w and move in y so when you reach this top spot and press r in keyboard and scale in y to make it straight and press w i want to move in y go to perspective right click and choose vertex mode select this vertex and press w and move in z to make it round shape select this vertex and move in z now i want to connect this edge to here here you need to add one more edge loop right click and choose object mode shift right click and choose insert edge loop option box 
I will reset my tool add one more edge loop over here so I didn't want this edge select this edge and shift double click on this edge shift right click and choose delete edge now you need to add a multi cut tool shift right click and choose multi cut tool you need to connect over here to here and right click do same thing over here and right click now select this edge and shift select this edge shift right click and choose bridge so do same thing on here select this edge and shift select this edge shift right click and choose bridge double click on this edge shift right click and choose fill hole double click on this edge shift right click and choose fill hole now we need to add one more edge loop close over here so before that I will select this vertex and go to modeling toolkit and choose and transform constraint to edge slide and press W I want to move slide on the side to make it round shape do same thing on here now you need to add one more edge loop shift right click and choose insert edge loop you need to add over here so see here here we have a triangle we need to clear up so you need to add one more edge loop to here now we have one two three and four edge all quads and also you need to add one more edge loop over here so the edge loop will stop on this region because here we have one two three four and five edge in gone so we need to clear up manually first of all you need to add a multi cut tool so end up with here and right click now right click and choose object mode in the object selected press 3 in keyboard now you got and um, the shape so as we seen in our reference image so now press 1 in keyboard here you need to add a multi insert H2 and use multi cut tool to clear up the gap And right click now double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge you need to extrude in Z shift right click and choose extrude edge again and press W I want to move in Y so I want to turn off my transform constraint to off and move in Y right click and choose object mode double click on this edge shift double click on the sage and shift double click on the sage shift right click and choose bevel edge give fraction amount very tiny bit in this case i will give 0 0.2 and segments to 2 right click and choose object mode now press 3 in keyboard now you got an perfect sharp edge over here and also here ok so i will select this object see here so in this region it will lose its sharpness so when I press 1 so it has an sharp edge when you press 3 in keyboard it will lose its sharpness to avoid this when you press 3 in keyboard right click and choose edge mode select the edge shift select the edge and shift select the edge shift right click and choose crease tool use middle mouse button and click and drag to sharpen this edge so now press W and right click and choose object mode so now it's retain its sharpness so you need to do same thing on here right click and choose edge mode select the sage shift select the sage and shift select the sage shift right click and choose crease tool use middle mouse button and click and drag and press W and right click and choose object mode so now you got an sharp page over here so it's perfect now we need to clear this one press one in keyboard and one more edge loop over here also here double click on the sage I want to move a little bit in Y right click and choose object mode and press three in keyboard so now you've got a sharp page over here press one in keyboard 
add one more age loop over here and double click on the sage and press R and scale down to make it round shape. Now right click and choose vertex mode, select this vertex, press Ctrl F11 in keyboard, shift right click and choose extrude face and press R in keyboard and scale down. Now right click and choose object mode, now press 3 in keyboard, you got a perfect shape. Ok, now we perfectly finished our model but many of them request me in comment section how to avoid this triangle. So when you create any cylindrical or spherical object, the triangle will be came default. So I will hide my grid, you know, you able to see it clearly. When you press 1 in keyboard, so now you have in this region all triangles. There is two way to clear this one, so I will duplicate this one. Press Ctrl D, I will duplicate on this side. So the first two way is you need to select this edge and shift select this edge so leave one edge and select other edge like this so leave one and select another one leave one and select another one and shift right click and choose delete edge so now you got one two three four edge all quads now you press three in keyboard so it will be nice and smooth with with all quads so this is one way to clear the triangles in cylindrical object. The another way is using multi cut tool. Right click and choose vertex mode. Select this vertex, press Ctrl F11 in keyboard. That means the vertex will be converted as a face. Shift right click and choose extrude face and press or sorry. Shift right click and choose extrude face and press or and scale down. Now right click and choose vertex mode, select this vertex, press Ctrl F11 in keyboard. That means, sorry, when the vertex selected, shift right click and choose chamfer vertex. So now you got all in guns. So to clear it, you use multi cut tool, right click and choose object mode. Shift right click and choose multi cut tool. You need to connect exact center like this and right click, do same thing over here and right click so click on here click on here right click 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 do same thing over here 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 So you need to end up like this. Don't connect this edge to here because we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 edge. Four that means all quad. So this is another way to clear triangle in cylinder. Now you press 3 in keyboard. So now you got all quads. So this is two way. So when you create a spherical object. So in this case I will create a polysphere. So in spherical object, you have a triangle in top and bottom region. To avoid this, you need to select like this. Select one edge, leave one edge. So like this and shift right click and choose delete edge. Now you got all quads. So this is the way to clear triangle in spherical and cylindrical object. I hope you like it. If you like this video, give thumbs up button. If you have any suggestion about this video, give comment below the comment box. I hope you like it. I see you on next project. Click subscribe button to subscribe our YouTube channel. We always need your support to create high quality content further. So please subscribe. Click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017. Part 16